we design classes and then roll them out for all of our instructors in order to maintain consistency because we are a relatively large university we we're just north of 30,000 students and so when we're going to be teaching you know six or eight sections of our introductory math class ev starting every three weeks we want to make sure that all of the students see the same content or exposed to the exact same material and face the same objectives. We're very objectives based mm -hmm. with our learning and want to ensure that all of our students have the same outcomes. So because of that, we wanted to make sure that all the resources were available, but we needed something that we could update and it would not have to wait for the next time we revised our course because since we do create courses that are then migrated for every term start, we revise them every one to two years. But in the interim, it's going to have run 20 to 30 times on eight or more sections. That's a lot of times that the students see that material. So we need to make sure that everything is set up in a way that maximizes the student's experience and exposure to the content. One of the things that has really worked for us with the live binders by doing it in the unit format is it allows the students, you know, to, to really concentrate on the content and then when they go to the resources, it's exactly what we believe they need. But say we find out through the first couple times teaching a course that we missed something or we've created a new resource that, that's an improvement over something we had or in addition to what we had in our binders. One of the things that has helped this to be a really successful project for us is the fact that the URL for the binder doesn't change. But as soon as we update the binder, it, the update is live in all of the classes that are using that binder. That has been huge for us because we are constantly revising, updating, adding to, changing up the materials in the binders. And if we had to wait two years for the next revision of the course in order to make that update, by then the material would probably be outdated or need another update. This way, if we change the, the content tomorrow, it's live tomorrow, even though the course started three weeks ago or six weeks ago, or may not start for another two weeks. So that has been something that has really helped us a lot because not only do we have to make sure all of our materials stay content relevant and accurate, but they also have to stay 100% ADA compliant. So they all have closed captions and they all meet all of those additional requirements as well. So there's a lot of checks that have to go into a lot of boxes with these particular resources.